Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me today. I want to talk to you about fear and anxiety that many people are suffering with. Psalm 91 says something to us. It says in verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Well, even on our money, we say, in God we trust, came out of the Bible, that idea. But a lot of people live their whole life because of things that have happened to them, promises broken or, or terrible things that have happened in their past. They live their life with anxiety and fear. If you are one of those people or you know someone who lives with fear, I want to tell you that God is the cure, the solution for that. It says uh, in this passage, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. There have been many times that I have done pastoral counseling with people who are suffering with anxiety. It's one of the most common uh, issues that people are struggling with. And one of my questions that I often ask is, do you have trouble sleeping at night? Do you have nightmares? Do you ever get to the point where your fear actually paralyzes you. And I want to say to you, you don't have to live like that. I don't want you to live like that. God doesn't want you to live like that. When people have, for good reason, come up with uh, this issue of fear and anxiety in their life, it's very paralyzing. It affects you mentally because it's so distracting and it causes you to be afraid to talk with people, to meet with people, to make commitments and relationships with people. It makes it difficult to ha make a decision for fear of what might happen. In fact, I'm going to make a suggestion to you that oftentimes people are fearful about what might not might happen or might not happen, and it inhibits them from moving forward in life. And I don't want you to live like that either. I, I want you to be able to be free to make wise decisions and to go forward with things that you should be doing, but never would I want you to be struggling with fear of what might happen. Fear that what might happen actually causes people to be sometimes paralyzed in their ability to, to live and to enjoy their life. So... Fear and anxiety it can affect you mentally, it can also affect you physically. Many times people have problems with their physical ailments because of all their anxiety and fears that they're living with. It puts undue stress on their mental capacity. It also can affect your heart and your whole, just your whole health affected by anxiety. And the last part is spiritual. Whenever you or a person that you might know is living with fear and anxiety, it impairs our relationship with God. It impairs us spiritually. So physically, mentally, and spiritually, that's kind of like all that you are, gets locked up in fear and anxiety. I will tell you the one that set me free. His name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. That's because the verse before it says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. I want to suggest to you that if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you should talk to him about whatever fear or anxiety is troubling you and turn it over to him and let him deal with it. The other thing is, sometimes if you have a pastor who does pastoral ministry, you can call, make an appointment, and in a in a location where there's someone else there present uh, so you feel comfortable. Uh, you can talk with people and find a way to deal with and let go of some of your fears and anxieties because they're unreasonable. And uh, if you have a real reason for fear and anxiety, you need to talk to somebody for sure to get help because there's no way you should live with that. You should never live in a situation where you're always afraid of what you say or what you do because of possible repercussions or real repercussions. So if you need to talk to somebody, please come and check us out. Living Hope Baptist Church, we're here at 433 South San Jacinto Street. We meet every Sunday morning at 1020. 
you can call our office and make an appointment. We'd be glad to meet with you privately and, and help you in that way. God bless you.